Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name's Christy. I'm so pleased you could stop by. I would love it if you would subscribe before you leave. Today, I'm gonna to be creating this gold and brown look using an old palette from Revolution. It's a reloaded velvet rose palette. If you'd like to know where we've got the look, please continue to watch. As it is sort of autumn, we're in there. Um, I'm gonna try this Velvet Rose from the Revolution Reloaded palette collection. Um, I, I'm not actually sure by the looks of it whether I've used it before. I might have swatched it, but I'm not sure whether I've used it. So I'll give you some swatches and we'll see what we come up with. But these nice rich browns and the golds should look really, really pretty. And it's not a pink or purple look. This palette is very nice. You've sort of got, um, for every transition shade, you have actually got a shimmer there as well. So it is very, very nice. So yeah, I think I'm gonna be concentrating on the browns and golds. Well, let's face it, that's what this palette is all about. It is literally uh, browns and golds with a tiny, tiny little bit of um, a pink. I think I'm going to take this colour here. Now, again, these haven't got colours, so it's going to be number 10. So I'm going to take this as a transition. I'm going to run it through my crease. This is going to be another easy look. I think with these Revolution, the Reloaded palettes, I think they are really, really good. They sort of take the, the guessing out of it and they give you X amount of options. So I'm just going to run this through my crease and a little bit further up. This is a little bit light actually. I thought it was darker. And I think I may, I may try a halo eye today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put down all of the, the palettes that you want to use. I will put down on a list. Now I've got into it. And I shall just work through them slowly, slowly. Now I am going to deepen it up and I think I'm going to go uh, for this warm chocolate one here. It is a little bit dark, but I think we can make it work. So I'm sort of going to be concentrating on the outside and the inside more. bit of the first one and just just soften it up a little bit it's driving me nuts this is it's better I'm gonna go darker still and I think I'm going to keep on being warm and I'm going to go for this really, really dark, dark, warm brown. So I'm just going to concentrate this really just on the outer and the inner sides. just really to put that edging on so I'm tapping that right deep into that socket but I'll do a halo oil today because I very rarely do one so this is just well it's more like a, a spotlight and it's just going to concentrate that shimmer color right in the middle I'm 
I'm just going to build these colours back up around as well. Just so we can see all of the colours. And I'm just going to leave a tiny, tiny little bit of space there and I'll be able to put some highlighter. I'll see what the other shades are doing. I'll probably just use my regular highlighter though. So those are the three that we are very, very similar. I think I'm just going to go for the brightest one to tell you the truth. You might as well, aren't you? I think the deeper one has got like more chunky flecks of glitter, if anything. I'm going to use the finger. No, you know what I mean. I'm just going to add it slightly and then we will build the magic up. Very pretty. It's pretty, but not in, you know, like today's formula. They are really striking. You know, you can basically see them from space. But I think at the time this was wow, you know what I mean? It was a really, really bright foil shade. Very nice. I will I am gonna finesse it though, just so it's just not there. So let's get me a little bit of a, a flat brush. and put a little bit of they've got a brown shimmer or a brown metallic whatever you want to call it in the palette I might try that as well just to sort of get that nice fade just to see if it adds a little bit more so it's this one here I'll just show you. I don't want to put any pink on whatsoever. So it's like that brown. A little bit here. I don't think it'll make any difference. But we can, but try. I'm going to go into one of the other ones. This is, oh, this is a lighter gold, so it's a more, well that's added, added a little bit hasn't it, it's this one here, it's the lightest, so we've got this chunky one here that we've used, but we're going to use this one here, now I can see looking at it from here, you've got this one here and it's got like a sort of, more of a pinky reflect in it. I've, uh, I've done my eyebrows and now I'm just adding a brownie brown eyeliner and this is actually I've used it quite a few times it's cheap as chips and they are the retractable eye pen from Lidl I think they're about two pounds and I think at the time they'd got buy one get one free so of course i had oops i had four as you do i had two black and two brown so 
so it's not quite black but it's just not as harsh as black i do love black but when i'm using brown eyeshadow i do tend to try and use a brownie colored eyeliner but i am going to use black over the top so i'm going to use as always flix liner from revolution so this probably won't be the best thing to watch so i will skip forward i have put a little bit of a wing well a lot of a wing for me and i'm going to add my chocolate dipped high art revolution mascara you know i'm going to be using this until it's run out Right, I'm going to add another coat of mascara and I'm going to do my base and I'll come back and we'll finish off. So if you give us two seconds, I'll be back with you. I've put a bit of my base on. I've actually used my blush uh, from XX Revolution, what I showed you on Tuesday for the first time. It is very subtle. It's very nice. I did sort of pile it on, but there uh, it was a very nice sort of look um revolution pro 4k highlighter palette in the gold today and i am going to use one of these gold shades for my inner corner and my brow bone highlighter i'm going to go all out and i think i'm going to get do this very very gold shade here if it's too much then i'll just add some of the the lighter It's actually very similar to what I've got on my lid. I don't usually use this one very much. Nice. Go. We're doing it all back to front today. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the palette and let me have a little look at what we're going to put on. Um, I think I will just use this darker brown because it's it's so nice and warm. The uh, the cooler ones are too they're too cool, so I think I'm just going to use this one that I use on the outer part. I'm actually adding a little bit of this other gold on the inner corner just so I've sort of used just so I've used something else out of the palette it's very very similar to what I've used anyway that blush isn't enough for me so I'm going to add another bit of blush I'm going to add this Barry M blusher palette it is what I usually use when I've got like um oranges browns anything like that and I just sort of use all of it I think the highlighter I think I need to go this shade here because these two are usually too dark for me See, that's gold without being too 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 much love it and lastly Shall we find a lipstick? Now I'm going to have to be careful because I've got this, this soreness on my lips so I don't want anything too drying. Um, look at this Morphe. Um, it's, just, 
it is called wild streak whether they still sell it or not i don't know i'm i'm not sure whether i had it in a glossy box or whether i had it off uh, a mystery box from twee Guys, that's my finished look for today. I really hope you've enjoyed watching. If you have, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up. That would be amazing. And if you haven't already and you do like my channel, please consider subscribing. I will be back on Sunday, not with a makeup look this week, but I'm going to do something different. So I hope you can join me. Please stay safe and take care always. Love you loads. Bye.